millennials got tentacles. Right. Half the Emirates need a reservation and half my money goes straight to taxes. But I don't trip about it. That's what happens when you got dreams closer than a match. And plus all your boys got expensive habits. Go. I know what they're thinking. They don't even got to say it. No. Nope. They thinking they just made it. I know how to make everybody feel famous. famous. I don't got to work no day shift. day shift. I don't got to split no payment. payment. I don't got to answer questions. Right. And I don't need you to okay right. it. Yeah. Okay. 30,000 in the pocket. No change. Okay. I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay. All my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay. So when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now. Right pocket got your rose. Left pocket got pow. pow. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. They, they, they can't check it to 10. Hey. Cooking up, gourmet, I go super saiyan, go tank, anything I ever do is top rank, got more boys than a Shawshank. I don't wear ball, mains. All I ever do is ball, main. I am not a rapper, they all lame. I am not dope, I'm hard. Wait, I can power up and level up at any moment. Spitting like a semi, only give me semi colon. Cobble zeros like I'm sending yell nets. Every flow is unmatched, and I better get set in. Finish them, finish them. Messing around with me, and I diminish them all. Even if I ever did the minimum, all. In the Arizona, I better kill them all. Rogue one, but I got a team with me. Batman, when I got a thing with me. I get mean, I get green. Show the whole game what's never been seen. Cook it up, gourmet. I go super saiyan, go tank. Anything I ever do is top rank. Got more bars than a Shawshank. Cook it up, gourmet. I go super saiyan, go tank. Anything I ever do is top rank. Got more bars than a Shawshank. Designer sneakers hurt my feet now. Every beat is getting beat down. Couldn't eat, well, watch I eat now. Like, how you getting paid to freestyle? Different cities every week now. Every woman is a now with state prop you looking bleak now i was home to sleep designing sheets now 30 different missions when i speak they listen couldn't find the social fishing who the crew it wasn't true i know it's true because you look like the opposition run it up run it up greatest ever sums it up i ain't have a lot when i was coming up kind of made my stomach turn when i brung it up wait cook it up gourmet i go super saiyan go tank anything i ever do is top rank got more bars than a shawshank cook it up gourmet Playing skills, you did. Playing, playing, playing skills. Ice on the wrist, uh, yeah. Call on the wrist, uh, yeah. Pull on the wrist, uh, yeah. Watch how I flip, uh, yeah. Watch how I whip, uh, yeah. I'm in the whip, uh, yeah. I'm in the wrist, uh, yeah. I never switch, uh, yeah. Ice on the wrist, uh, yeah. Call on the wrist, uh, yeah. Pull on the wrist, uh, yeah. Watch how I flip, yeah. Watch how I whip, uh, yeah. I'm in the whip, uh, yeah. I'm in the wrist, uh, yeah. I never switch, uh, yeah.
Tellin' the rest, uh, yeah. Watch how I flip, uh, watch how I rip, uh, yeah. I'm in the whip, uh, yeah. I'm in the rest, uh, yeah. I never switch. Now. Let them hate, try to knock me down, but we got up now hey. You 
you say that you ballin', keep it real though. Hey, why I never saw you in the field though? Hey, I make it look easy as a field goal. I've been grinding for a minute and I'm still going. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team ballin', you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. I'ma shine out, working hard. Yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. All my records go hard, this a champion hit yeah. I've been working for this moment like I've been in the gym Jumping all over hurdles, I'm evading the pit yeah. Tend to hit with anybody, take them, I can shake them yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them, I'ma break them hey. I'm a Hall of Fame legend, they should go and hang my jersey yeah. Made to put in work, I don't think they really hurt me like yeah. Move the chains, I'm about to make a play Suited up, yeah. you kicking off against me. Hope you ready, get it up. Yeah. I be booted up, popping out a sprinter or a truck. Uh. Whole team chasing bags while they chasing us. Yeah. Calling audible, I read the game. I think it's time to switch. You get hit if I miss, then my teammates got the blitz. Yeah, yeah. move the chains. I'm about to make a play. Yeah. Move the chains, tell them get about the way. Yeah. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game. Yeah. Move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Cleveland Browns. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Throwing on first down is Kaepernick. That one complete, Elliott. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Big stop, James. Big out. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. They run with Ezekiel Elliott, last year's NFL rushing leader. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down six. At the Browns, 49 yard line. Ready, ready. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. 61. Match box, right. Ready to go. Now, a man who really stepped up last year. This is Matt Breda. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Now, hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Come on, set. Third and base. Let's go. Hey, you ain't going nowhere. Check 26. Check 26. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. 53 is the mark. 50 set, go. 53. Oh, ready. From midfield, here's Kaepernick. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he's taken down inside the 30. 13 yards there and a Niner first. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. On second down, a run with Breida. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. Let's go, let's go. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Watch the 80 weapons. 80 weapons. Try seven. Let's go. Ready, ready. Let's go. Into the red zone now. Kaepernick. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Larry Ogunjobi in for the sack. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Now Kaepernick. Now that's Elliott complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him 8 on the play. And it'll be third down. Makes it third and four. To throw is Kaepernick. 
They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Defensively, they better figure something out. Opening drive, he already has four catches. And if you have to figure out how to stop him defensively, that usually means you weaken your defense. That means that now the offense is doing the dictating, and they should have other things open up as well. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Here's Elliott. And across the goal line into the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Ezekiel Elliott. His first touchdown on the year. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. And he's not going anywhere to start tonight. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. Fred Warner coming off a strong rookie year in on the stop for the Niners. Manziel. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. to dial up the long one way out there but it'll be third down an incomplete pass on second down it muddles things a little bit here this is third and ten to throw Mayfield he'll let it go deep for Beckham it got his man complete and he will finally be taken down but not before he reaches the 38 a huge gain of 40 yards on the third down conversion this is Brown and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. What's that? 180! Hey, watch the ball! Watch the ball! <laughs> a first carry now for Kareem Hunt. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and the creases like they were able to explore right there. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. Now Mayfield on fourth down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent. 
and they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let them do all the work and then someone catch them at the end and pass them up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Kaepernick now on first down. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 15 for the Niners there to first down. They fake the give. Now Kaepernick completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Ready, go. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Browns drive about to get started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Mike's 59. Mike's 59. I got one. I got one. Check. Crunch. Up left. Crunch. Mike's 59. Mike's 59. Hey, me and you all day. All day. I'm coming up. Like this. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield, he's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Mayfield, this is the tight end, Njoku. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Come on, on first and ten, Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. So second down, still ten yards to go. Ball on the 43. And again, it's Mayfield. Caught by the former Gator, Antonio Callaway. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now Manziel, and his throw is going to be incomplete. With that matchup, the adjustment that was made, you have a blazing guy on a blazing guy, and defensively, he won that battle. The closing speed is the key. When you have a guy that fast, and he can close at the end of a play and knock it away, that's a big deal, and we just saw him do it right there. He had three catches last week. That one, his third on this drive alone. Mayfield on first down, and incomplete. Kareem Hunt is running back, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. On second down, Mayfield again, being chased out left. This is caught. 
And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards, the final tally. Throwing Mayfield, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Demetrius Harris, his first touchdown on the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down, here's Kaepernick. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. This quarterback now 10 of 10 to start the game. How about that? As he comes up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. Escaping the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. The D tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in for the sack. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. So after the sack, here's second and 14. To throw, it's Kaepernick. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. The Niners on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 14. Man open, Rice. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. Kaepernick going to throw. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Check safety, check safety. Zoom, fellas, let's go. And go. On first and 10, here's Kaepernick. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. 158 left to play until we hit halftime. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. They'll try to run with Breida. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Matt Breida, his second touchdown on the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. 
At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one who has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The throw once more on second and 10. Mayfield, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Here's Mayfield. Got an open man. That's David the Joker, the tight end. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Flushed out right. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Going to the air again with Mayfield. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Throwing on first down is Kaepernick. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. Play that side, completion to Rice. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over to spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. On first down, it's Hunt. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Mayfield down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. 
Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Mayfield in this Browns offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. Mayfield looks to throw. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that will be incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Now Mayfield on fourth down. He's got a first out and more inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. They'll run on first down. Hunt, and he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. That play got bottled up. Mayfield able to get this one to his tight end, Njoku. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Mayfield on third and two. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. This is the tight end to Joku. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Matchbox lights. Switch, switch, switch. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Mayfield. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Set to valve. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. And that only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. They fake the give. Now Kaepernick. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Fighting through, and he's got space. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Kittle last year, what a season. 1,377 receiving yards, an NFL record for tight ends en route to his first Pro Bowl. Not bad for the former fifth-round pick. As you, I remember that game December against Denver. He had that monster first half, 210 yards. Did not have a single catch in the second half, but still those 210 yards were just four yards shy of Shannon Sharp's single-game record for a tight end. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breida, his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. 
After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. That'll wind up going for a loss of four, and it'll bring up a second and 14. To throw, Mayfield steps away to his left, and he's got the hook up to Landry. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Mayfield, and that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Mayfield to throw it. It's brought in by Harris. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. It eh, didn't work out. They must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Kaepernick now to throw, and this is incomplete. All right, that one felt incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail 7 out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. First target, first catch, and a first down. Kaepernick now on first down. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get it. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Browns drive about to get started. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 24 yard line. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
They'll run again with Hunt. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. A first down carry by Elliott. And an alley to run. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. 26 yards. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Gold with the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Browns drive about to get started. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On second down, Mayfield again. That's taken in by Callaway. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front it buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Throwing, Mayfield. He'll get that to devalve the tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Mayfield off the play fake. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. Here's the correct call. Here's Mayfield. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Check, 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 check. Mayfield to throw for it on four. Yeah, he's got it. A great open field tackle is going to stop him shy of the goal line. Hunt is unable to get in on fourth and goal. And his 49er defense stands tall down near the goal line. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard to keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. On first and 10, here's Kaepernick. The battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Demarius Randall, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the... And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt, his first touchdown on the year. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that will get him one closer. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but the turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think that it might not be dialing that up again. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The number one pick, Miles Garrett, coming in to drop him. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Sheldon Richardson, his second sack of the night. Kaepernick now on third and goal. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Kaepernick now on first down. Trying to lay one up deep. Into a double team and it's intercepted. It's T.J. Carey who picked it, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the 44, Mayfield. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? But let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense is going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. First down, Mayfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Browns get a score closer.
Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. Well, Kaepernick's going to throw it. And some room to maneuver. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. <laughs> Apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now they'll throw with Kaepernick. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Here's Kaepernick to throw. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 37. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, it's Kaepernick. Forced out to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Larry Ogunjobi able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Now Young. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. Throwing now is Kaepernick. That'll be caught by Rice. 18 yards, first down Niners. looking to throw under pressure and down he goes they sack him back at the 36 but Charles it's one thing to win it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did why were they clicking on offense they can't help but feel great about themselves can they I mean what a game to put up that number of points continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for San Francisco, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Browns, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.
That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.